Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today I'm going to be doing a touch her and you die recommendation video for you. So the book I'm first going to talk about is the book that inspired this video, but I just love touch her and you die vibes and books. Um, this list I wanted to do some lighter romances that ne don't necessarily have a lot of dark romance in them. Not that I don't love dark romance, but I feel like the video that I did before with this um, rec video, I did a ton of dark romances, and so I wanted to give you some lighter ones that necessarily still have, you know, touch her new dive vibes, but aren't as dark, but I still love dark romances. I've just been in such a small town romance era lately, so let's get right into this video. The first book that I want to talk about and the book that inspired this video is Echoes of You by Kathleen Cowles. This is a brand new release and it is incredible. So Maddie and our hero have been best friends since they were young. They grew up in the same small town together um, and they've always had kind of feelings for each other but have never crossed that line. And so Maddie has been in a relationship for years and um, she comes back to the small town and she looks a lot different. She looks paler, not the same Maddie as he you know, Nash has known before, um, and he later finds out that her boyfriend has been abusing her, and so she's come to this small town to hide from him and seek refuge in her family there, her found family with the Hartley family and Nash, and so he is just like, oh my, once he sees what, you know, her ex did to her, he's like, who did this to you? I will go and find them. I will go and murder them for you. And it is so good. So Nash is also like a police officer. So he is dealing with a lot with her security. And they are, didn't really get to be a lot like good friends as they normally were when she was with her ex because her ex would be very jealous of Nash. And so now that they're back together, being friends again, um, all of these old feelings are stirring up again. And she um, is kind of healing with Nash and her friendship. And it's just so freaking beautiful. I absolutely love this book so much. Nash is such a spoony sweet character. There's a lot of suspense in this one with her ex coming and finding her. Um, and because she has a lot of trauma from her past, her family, home life was not great. Um, and I just love this book. It had so much healing and healing from trauma. Um, triggers that I do want to mention is um, domestic abuse, um, child abuse, and yeah, so um, and just abusive relationships. But I just love this one. Um, so much suspense. So good. Nash is total touch her and you die vibes. Amazing. I absolutely loved him. Next book I want to mention is Hate um, by Tate James. This is the first book in the Madison Kate series. So this series is a why choose hate to love romance series. So um, Madison Kate, basically there's this thing called Riot Night. And she goes with her best friend and it's basically this underground like fight club and they're basically trying to escape because the party is being shut down and she ends up being caught by the police and framed for something that she didn't do and um, she had to be her father is like the mayor of the town and he shipped her away because he's like you need to go learn and be away so we can you know tamp down this on like the public eye and so now she's back in town and she finds out that her father is in a relationship with this woman and her the people there are these guys staying in the house um that are like the woman's kids i think and she finds out that those are the guys that framed her for something that she didn't do she had to go to jail for this thing um and so she is absolutely so angry and pissed off at them hates them and it's five guys i will actually know maybe four and she ends up having to live with them so it's kind of a little bit of a bully romance hate to love she ends up having to go to school with them like college and it's really really good she just like hates them so much but feels so much, much attraction to them and they're like we are the only ones that can mess with you nobody else will like total touch her and you die vibes and it's so so good i really enjoyed this one i listened to it on audio it was really really good i loved it and can't continue can't wait to continue on with this series next one i want to talk about is the kingmakers duet by kennedy ryan this one is amazing i absolutely love this one i definitely need to do a reread um maybe i'll listen to it on audio so our hero and heroine basically meet when the heroine is very young, like 18, 
and it is at a pipe um like a pipe rally where this pipe is trying to be um this company is trying to build this pipeline through um native american land and the heroine is half native american and so she is um doing a rally against this pipeline and the hero um is there too and so they meet up and they kind of um strike a little bit of a friendship they end up being like put in jail at first and they um like end up being like booked and arrested and they kind of like start a little bit of a friendship while they are like waiting in jail and um they both feel an attraction to each other but he's like you're too young right now in his head he doesn't say this to her and so then they part ways and they think they don't, aren't going to see each other for years and now it's five years later and they both randomly meet when they are both in like Amsterdam and so they basically spend a week together having a little bit of a romance um don't think they're going to see each other again after that um and then she finds out something that the hero basically really betrayed her and so it's this story of pining and lots of emotion second chance and so now it's the present and she is actually a um political manager and she is helping with her his brother's like political campaign to become the next president and so he she has to be around him again and she now hates him because he really betrayed her um and it is really good it's second chance very angsty um and he is very protective over her and total touch when you die die vibes like nobody will mess with her if you're with me like I said that weird if nobody nobody's gonna mess with her if she's with him and it is so so good I love this duet there's actually a lot of action in this one which um usually from what I've read from Kennedy Ryan she hasn't had a ton of action in her books before but this one had um like kind of a cliffhanger in the first book and I just like was dying over this duet it is so so good highly recommend it's so amazing next book that i want to talk about is haunting adeline i've been recommending this book in a couple of videos but i just really liked it and i think this is a perfect video to put this in and that's haunting adeline by hd carlton this is a dark stalker romance and it is very very good so our heroine basically falls for her stalker and she knows that somebody is watching her at night and she will bring home men to kind of aggravate her stalker like she will have them the guys like pleasure her in front of a window knowing that he will watch her and then she's starting to discover that some of these guys are going missing um and then she finally meets her stalker and they start having a romance and it's really really good um it's very character driven but the audio for this one is amazing teddy hamilton narrates it and it is so so good it is a dark romance and there's also this fun subplot where she finds this diary of her great 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 grandmother talking about how maybe she had a stalker in like the 1950s and she's staying in this creepy manner that her great grandmother owned and is very um it feels like gothic and spooky and like perfect vibes for this book and i just love this one i um thought it was fun and dark and total touch her and you die vibes next book i want to mention is powerless by elsie silver so this is a friends to lovers unrequited love romance small town romance and so our heroine basically runs away from her wedding she finds out that her soon-to-be husband cheated on her and she didn't even want to marry him like it was a business deal between her father and um her soon-to-be husband and so she basically runs away with her childhood best friend and they go on a road trip and so this is such a fun romance to hear a Jasper is also a hockey player so we get some hockey in this one and they basically figure out that they both have had feelings for each other for years and never you know acted on it also Jasper is a little bit older than her and it is so so good and I just like love this one it is so good when they finally get together it is so cute and I love romances when the other person just knows the per other person so well and it was just so good i really really love this one and the touch when you die vibes is that she, he gets very protective over her and it's like nobody's going to mess with you like when you're with me and i just love jasper he's very introverted and when he finally like you know is with sloan he is so protective and i just love that about him this was so good chef's kiss i listened to the audio of this one and it was fantastic highly recommend that one next book i want to talk about is violent delights by jessica hawkins this is such a fun romance 
um, series. It is a trilogy and I just love this trilogy so much. And so this is a Mexican cartel romance slash love triangle romance slash hate to love age gap forbidden so our heroine basically sees um this guy who was supposed to be her like officer and bodyguard um her father is like the head of the biggest mexican cartel in mexico um he sees her or she thinks he um she sees him killing her mother and so he runs away and um now it's years later and she totally thinks that he murdered her mother and so she absolutely hates him and she is now dating his younger brother um diego and now he's coming back into the picture after being gone for like 10 years and it's like i want to be back in the mexican cartel i have my own cartel now he's making like business dealings with her father and she has to interact with him again and she still thinks that he killed her mother so she absolutely hates him but they have a lot of chemistry and it's very angsty because she is dating his brother and she's like i love your brother but i'm starting to feel things for you and it is really really good this book this series is so action-packed so angsty so forbidden he is older than her and it's just amazing i need to do a reread of this series because i love it so much um so so good you don't even know where she's gonna go in like the first book like which guy and it's just so so good so forbidden um and he is very protective over her like i'm the only one that can do these things to you and it is very very good just love it so much chef's kiss amazing the last book i want to mention is actually a book that i'm reading right now and that's two fights by nikki castle i'm reading this one on my kindle um and it is really really good so our heroine was in a really mentally abusive relationship and now she's finally out of that relationship and she is friends with Jax, who is the hero this is a friends lovers romance um and so far they're just getting to know each other and he is very protective over her especially when it comes to her ex like he is like if you go any like near her at all i will kill you and it is so so good he is just like i will fight you know her ex off for you and um her ex is very mentally abusive and he is like horrible to her and so he's just um Jax is so protective over the heroine and it's like i will protect you you don't ever have to see him again i will do everything in my power to keep you safe from him and it's just so good i'm really really loving this one so that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed hearing me chat about some of my recent favorite touch her and you die um books book recs that i've been reading um i want to thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye